on the continent of Australia, a man falls from the sky, possessing no memories other than his name, Yuki. And an elf named Kunako finds him, introducing herself as his guide in the world they as are traversed. With Kaikono's guidance, Yuki is able to learn how this world works, from battling monsters to handling currency. To earn money for the journey, Yuki and Konoko decides to go to a nearby guild association to make a simple quest. In the expedition, they meet Percunia, a somewhat gluttonous but charming girl skilled in battle. The next day, they meet Carly, a cat girl specializing in magic. After some time, a bond of friendship and quality formed between them, and the four decide to create a guild of their own. As they continue their adventures, they explore the world, meet new people, and perhaps uncover the mystery behind Yuki's missing memories. This anime is about 13 episodes, has a second season. It premiered April 7th to June 30th, 2020. But it's off a game series. It is adventure, comedy, fantasy, and gourmet. Each episode is 20 minutes and it's rated PG-13. Let's get started into the review. What I really like about this anime, like dropping like head first into it, like the poor dude has no memory how he got here. And honestly, since I don't have any knowledge of the game format of this, I think it did a pretty good job. You know, this, you know, not super overly powerful guy, you know, gets help. And, you know, the girl who is his guide in this world, you know, go to, go out. from the angle they shot her when we first introduced her, we realized she was small, but she wasn't. And, you know, she's very helpful. And I feel like for this one in particular, for someone who has no memory and then meeting the other two players um, for their guild and forming this guild that's about food, you know, I feel like their main activity is just like finding like new food to try. And I think on many dreams for us is like if we're a foodie, like we would love to have a job where we can just try to and just eat them. And besides that, from them doing the quest to make money to retain their guild and protect the people that they, that they live in, all sorts of danger like they really care about the town the community and i think also for them going from quest to quest and having to survive such very dangerous uh, monsters and encounters that they do have but overall i think besides that downtime of them just like doing quests like they really like, take really good care to them. they really work well as a team and after that they just like you know hopefully discover food that they might try after an intense battle but overall each character has their own charm it's very well presented and they're all completely different which is perfect because that's how they really work out to balance each other out and their close-knit friendship between them can clearly be seen on screen and how much fun they have with each other overall i think despite them each kind of different backgrounds and how they still end up correlating and crossing path works out perfectly and at the start our main character he is not very smart it's not like him losing his memory he's very helpful very friendly but a little bit lonely. just a little bit but his lovely helper you know Kuroko, she's sweet and she does anything that she can for him and i think that's adorable and then you have the interesting princess who's like she's very she's she's a foodie and she's a lot like she's a black hole for a stomach and then we can't even get about the cat girl like she's in her own right like cat-like behavior, you know, very antisocial to begin with, but she, you know, she starts to warm up to you. And I think overall, what I like about these characters, like, they all come in their own aspect of the group, which is, like, works well for them, which I thoroughly enjoy, which is really good for, for the most game that I take that I see from anime, but this one works out very well, and I can't wait to see what season two brings, but I can't wait to see how they develop and grow as a guild unit. And overall, I like how, you know, they all can bring something to the table as a group. And I can't wait to see what season two brings. And overall, my final thoughts on this anime, Princess Connect Redrive, is like, besides the food they eat, it looks good most of the time. Especially the Princess William, this big giant stick of meat here, looks lovely, looks appetizing. So if you are a type of person who enjoys anime with a lot of food tied into it, then this is definitely for you. I do suggest eating a snack while you're watching this anime because it will make you hungry. But overall, I give it like a solid like 7.9 out of 10. It's heartwarming. It's fun. It's interesting because it doesn't take the approach of having a super powerful MC was surrounded by female teammates, but it just takes a different approach to it, which I thoroughly like a lot where the girls are carrying the, the not that they're, they're carrying, I feel like the girls and the guys have a very easier dynamic where it's all equally bound for the helping each other out. But definitely check out this anime. Let me know what you think. Comment down below what anime I should review next. And I'll see you soon for another anime review. Until then, bye.